Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to take a look at a problem that's existing between Photoshop and Lightroom and if you're a user of both of these products and especially if you work with collections you need to have a look at this video because we're going to have a look at the problems that Adobe have introduced with the communication between these two pieces of software. So let's now have a serious look at what these problems are and how we can work around them. So what's broken between Photoshop and Lightroom? To best explain this, the easiest way to do this is to explain how it used to work and then we'll have a look at why it doesn't work now and how we can try and work around this problem until such time as Adobe provides a fix, if in fact they do provide a fix sometime down the track. So like most people, I import my images into Lightroom, I store them in different folders with different names and I often use collections to group images together for instance for a book or for a particular project and what used to happen is if you edited an image in Lightroom and then took it to Photoshop and then saved it back as a Photoshop file and giving it a new file name which is what most people like to do as I do Photoshop and Lightroom would talk to each other and the image would appear back in the library folder and if you were working from a collection it would also appear in the collection. And the problem seems to be somewhere between the connection between Photoshop and Lightroom because the Save As option in Photoshop just doesn't work and it sends you down a different path. So let's have a look at an example. So before we get started with working through an example it's important to note where these um, problems arise and how Photoshop and Lightroom talk to each other. So when you've edited an image in Lightroom and you want to take it to Photoshop, the option for saving out of Photoshop and giving you the, the file a new name is actually controlled from within Lightroom. So if you go to Edit Preferences in Lightroom and then come to the External Editing Options, right down the bottom this is where it, it tells Photoshop how to rename a file when you save it. And under Custom Settings, if you choose that and then go to Edit, you basically get a number of options here. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm saying I want an underscore and then the original file name because when I save the file out of Photoshop, I want to add a name to the beginning of this file but also retain the original source file name. So when you edit an image from Lightroom into Photoshop and then go press File Save or File Save As, it's going to introduce this naming convention. That's all well and good, but then if we go and have a look at Photoshop, if we go to Edit Preferences in Photoshop and then look at the File Handling options, there's another option here that just doesn't work in Photoshop and that is under the file saving options there's an option here to when you use the save as menu option it should go to the original folder and you'll see that I've got this ticked and that should tell Photoshop that when I press file save as it should direct me back to the source folder but it just doesn't work and this is part of the problem where Adobe have broken it and the connection is broken so let's just cancel out of that and let's go back to Lightroom and let's just work through an example as I would normally work. Now here's an original um, raw file that's part of a collection and I've already edited this in Lightroom so I'm now going to edit in Photoshop which is fine it goes to Photoshop and opens the image. So far so good and let's just do a very basic um, adjustment so that it's something that we can see clearly uh, because I'm not really going to keep this file. If I just do a hue saturation adjustment and I change this um, to a, a lurid green colour and I'm going to save this image out because I want to see what happens when I save it out. So typically with a Photoshop file that you've worked on I want to save this and I want to give it a name. So I will go to File save as and it's taking me back to somewhere that's not the source file 
So this is the problem. If you just ignored this and just gave your image a file name and press save, your chances of finding it ever again are pretty slim. So what happens is, oh, I don't know where that file came from because I edited it from a collection in Lightroom. So I have to go back to Lightroom. Here's my source file. If I right mouse click, say go to folder in library, it's taken me back to a folder that's a, a subset of a trip to Antarctica in 2010. Oh, okay, that's where I need to save it. So now I've gone from the collection back to the source folder, but I know where the destination is. So now I go back to Photoshop and go File, Save As, and now I have to no navigate to where those files are stored. And Photoshop, just at random when you hit File, Save As, it just goes to wherever you were, um, had a file open last time. So it could be anywhere, and most likely it's not going to be the images that you're, or the destination that you're looking to save it in. So it was Antarctica 2010, and it was in South Georgia. And so I'm going to call this one just so that we can find it. Um, AA test 1, and then I will save it. Now, the problem being, the file is now being saved, but when I went back to Lightroom, I went back to the source folder, and you'll see there it is here, it's appeared in the source folder, but I was actually working from originally from a collection, and if I look at this and say, well, what collection is it in? It hasn't added it to the collection because I was working from the source folder. So to correct this problem, what I have to do is I have to go back to edit in Photoshop, oh, sorry, edit, go to the collection, and it's back in the collection. So then I go back to Photoshop and say, file, save as. Now I know last time I went to this folder, I'm going to call this AAA test 2, and it's going to save the file out. But this time, because I'm in the collection, it's going to find it back in the collection. There it is there. Now the problem is that because I've had to jump backwards and forwards in Lightroom, if you're not careful about what you do, the file's going to get lost. So that's the first scenario. So let's now look at a couple of different scenarios where it also doesn't work. So now let's look at a slightly different scenario. So we're back in the collection and I've got the same file ready. I'm going to go to edit in Photoshop and it's going to open the file in Photoshop as previously. And here we have the file. And this time, instead of just changing the color, I'll do something a little bit different. I'm going to apply a really wild curves adjustment where it's going to completely change all of the colors in the image just so we can clearly see it when it goes back into our library. Okay, there's our file. Looks pretty terrible. Let's just go to File, Save. And now this time it saved the file. Let's go back to our collection. Yep, it's added the file. That's all fine. That works perfectly well. The only problem is I want to give this a different name. Um, and can I do that within Lightroom? No, you can't rename a file in Lightroom. So we have a problem. Do, using File Save does automatically go back to the right folder. But in most instances, you're going to want to give your files a different name so that they're easily identifiable, or they might be part of a series that you want to number and give them a sequence to or anything like that. So this part works OK. And if we were to go to this file that we've saved, you'll see that um, obviously it's saving it in the correct library folder. So let's just look at a couple of other permutations and see where the uh, insanity of this whole thing um, doesn't make any sense at all. So just to summarise where we've got to so far, if you're working from a collection and you go to Photoshop and you use the command file save as, Photoshop doesn't know where to save the file to. It just goes to the last used folder. So you need to navigate back to the source folder and if you're in the collection in the library and you're not sure where the source folder is, you have to go 
and identify the source folder then make sure you go back to the collection otherwise when you do save the file Photoshop ignores the collection and just adds it to the source folder which is a very easy way to get totally mucked up and, and lose your files however if you use the file save command it does automatically go to the source folder so the connection is in there somewhere it's just that Photoshop and Lightroom and uh, Adobe have broken that connection with the file save as option even though we've said save as should direct me to my original source folder so with a little bit of care and careful attention we can work around this problem but it gets worse let's look at another example these are all images in a collection for a book that I produced a little while ago so let's go and have a look at another image okay we've previously used this one let's look at this one the lion image now it's a Photoshop file I want to make a different version of this and this is a fairly typical thing I've got a color image here I might like to explore whether it works as a monochrome image so I'm going to edit in Photoshop and of course being a Photoshop file we always go to a, a Photoshop to re-edit a Photoshop file that is if we've retained our layers for further adjustment um, you really don't want to be going and editing a Photoshop file in Lightroom that'll get you down a real rabbit hole that's very difficult to get out of so we're going to edit the original in Photoshop we're just going back into Photoshop now and it's opened the file let's just close that other penguin image so here's my uh, line image with a whole lot of adjustments applied to it for this example I'm just going to flatten this image and I'm going to introduce a black and white adjustment layer let's just choose um, a fairly dramatic no that's pretty ordinary um, let's go to the green filter yeah look that looks okay maybe the blue filter is a bit more dramatic okay I've got a monochrome option now that I want to keep alongside my color version so okay um, and just remember we were in a collection when we started here and I'm now going to save this but of course I don't want to save over the original file I want to give it a slightly different file name so I will go to file save as and in this instance it's actually found the correct source folder that's all very well and dandy let's say line stalking mono because it's a mono version we'll press save and that will save that file out so let's go back to Lightroom and see where we are well we're back in Lightroom and I'm in the collection but there's no sign of that monochrome version it hasn't gone back into the collection it seems that when you're working on an existing Photoshop file and you save from Photoshop Lightroom just totally ignores it so the only way I can find this file now is to go back to my folder in the library and see if I can find it well uh, no it doesn't appear there either hmm what's going on well the only way I can solve this is to go and synchronize the folder and yes of course there's a, a new image being saved into that folder because that's what I just saved but it doesn't appear in the source folder and it doesn't appear in the collection which is a really frustrating aspect of this now it used to work fine in the previous versions of Photoshop and Lightroom working exactly the way I did would allow that file to come back not only to the source folder but it would also appear in the collection so here's my here's my imported image now let's just check where it's gone go to the folder in the library yes it's it's actually been saved into the right location but now if I want to add that to the collection I've got to then physically go down to the collection find the collection again um, and find where it went well yeah, I'm not sure now because let's just find which collection was that in um, I think it was in the short list so you know it's it just becomes a nightmare as you just can't find where the files ended up and of course when you drop it back in the collection it doesn't appear in the sequence that you wanted it should be alongside the original file so all of that happens because that connection is broken 
So now let's look at another option. Of course, if we were just to open a file, let's just say, let's go to this original one, edit the original. Of course, it reopens in Photoshop. And if I make an adjustment to this image and then save it, let's just, um, well, let's just say we, we boost the color substantially. And I go to File, Save. Of course, that file exists in the collection and in the source folder. So by doing File, Save, it's going to update that source file. That, that bit doesn't get broken. But certainly when you want to save a different version of a file, you've got to put yourself through hoops to try and find where it went, make sure it goes to the right location. And then, of course, it's not added to that folder automatically. You've got to synchronize the folder then go and drag that image back into the collection. Now all of that used to work automatically before they broke it. And this is a source of major frustration for many photographers uh, because many people like me use this same sort of workflow and it's just not working. So just looking at this a little bit further, we looked at the example of the lion and um, let's just see what happens if we went to another image that's uh, also a Photoshop file but comes from a different source folder um, and let's just before we do that let's go and undo that horrible mess I made of that lion image let's just delete that take it back to where it was and we'll need to resave that so we just do file save of course um, and for some reason, many times when you've made a change to an image and press save, Photoshop asks you if you want to save it again because it doesn't recognize that there's been a change made. That's a bug that's been there for some considerable time. You just have to learn to ignore it. That file's now resaved, so I haven't lost the, uh, the image that I had previously. And we can close that out now. And we don't want that monochrome version anymore. So let's just pop back into Lightroom and um, this image here edit in Photoshop, edit original. Now one of the important things is that um, many people like myself when we've edited an image in Photoshop and applied a, a various um, adjustments and edits to it using different layers, we want to keep those layers intact so that if we change our mind later on we can go back and re-edit. So that's why we always want to re-edit the original. And I'll come back and talk about what happens if you if you go down this rabbit hole of not doing it this way. So let's go edit and we've got this image from um, it's taken in Svalbard. So here we have an image. Let's just do the same thing here just so that we can see a simple example monochrome version and I go file save as ah, under this scenario it has found the right folder. Hmm. And of course, when I've done this previously, it hasn't worked. So there's a bit of a weird connection here um, that it works sometimes and doesn't work other times. But basically, every time you go to File, Save As, you need to be careful to check the, that it's going to the correct source folder. We're going to save that out as the mono version and it'll take a few seconds to save because it's got quite a few layers on it. And let's just pop back to Lightroom to see what's going to happen here. So we're in a collection. We've edited this image from a collection. We don't expect that it's going to appear back in the collection because that's what happened last time. But because this connection seems to be a little bit all over the place, it might work sometimes. And so you just can't rely on it doing the right thing. Let's just check. Has that been... No, it's still saving. It's quite a large file. So it's important. There we go. That's finished saving. Let's go back to Lightroom in the collection. No, it's not there. Of course it's not there. So let's go to our folder in the library. And yes, it was in a, um, a collection or a, a source folder called Svalbard. Is it there? No, it's not. So again, we have to go back to library, synchronize folder. Yes, we found a new image. We add it back into the source folder in the library and so far so good the same as with the lion image we'll eventually import this now having to go around this long roundabout way every time you save out a new version of an image and then want to put it back into the collection is really 
not only annoying but it's incredibly frustrating because you can easily go off the rails and inadvertently saves a file out into some other location and then you'll spend hours and hours trying to find where on earth it went. So that's the problem with this scenario. So let's now have a look at what happens if you edit an image that there's a Photoshop file and you want to use a copy that you've edited in Lightroom. So we're back in Lightroom. Let's go and look at this. So this is the image we've just created. Let's go into develop and let's just maybe add a, add a dramatic tone curve to this so that we've got a slightly different version of the image. Now I say, OK, I want to take this back into Photoshop now. Now I'm not quite sure why you would edit something in Lightroom and then go back to Photoshop, but let's just let's just have a look at this option and see what happens. So now I want to edit that in Photoshop because I've made an adjustment in Lightroom. Now if I edit the original none of these adjustments that I've just made in Lightroom are going to be visible so that's not going to work in this scenario. Now if I go to edit a copy it's edit a copy of the original file Lightroom adjustments will not be visible so that doesn't work either so my only really workable option is to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments so yep okay let's do that so we'll now open a copy of this file with these Lightroom adjustments in Photoshop and let's just go back into Photoshop uh, I should have closed that file before doing that so let's just go back edit in Photoshop edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments because I'd left it open in Photoshop it got a bit confused so let's now go back now we've got a copy with Lightroom adjustments but the problem is that all of my adjustment layers that I previously had on the file have disappeared so I've now got a copy with those adjustments from Lightroom but I can't go back and re-edit what I had so that's basically a major problem. I'm not going to save that because that just doesn't work. So I hope that's clear that if you create a Photoshop file it always go back and re-edit it in Photoshop if you've retained your layers and often you'll want to retain your layers for further editing. Now we're back in the collection I've decided that really that was a bit of a waste of time that monochrome version doesn't work so now I want to get rid of it so I'm in a collection my only option now is to remove it from the collection but it still remains in the source folder so if we want to eliminate this file completely we need to go to the folder in the library which is this one and then we remove the photo and obviously you want to delete it from the disk because I no longer want that file and let's just go back to the collection again and you'll see that an image can be in multiple um, collections and one of the things with Lightroom and I understand the logic of this at least this part is sensible is if you have an image in multiple collections and you go to one of those collections and decide to edit that image it doesn't necessarily mean that the, you want that Im same image in all those other collections it will only update it in the collection you're working from that much I'd, I think at least works correctly so let's now just summarize how we can work around all of these problems and try and save you from nightmares uh, upon nightmares with files going missing. Just before we do that just a reminder that if you're working on an image that's in a collection and you ha are working on a raw file and you go to Photoshop save that file back to the source folder while still remaining in the collection in Lightroom it will add the file uh, to the library obviously but also add it to the collection but if that image is in multiple collections it will only add it to this the collection that you're currently working in and that's an important consideration so that if you for instance have the same uh, raw file this is not a raw file but if you were looking at a raw file if you had this same raw file in a multiple collections such as um, this one and then you saved out as a Photoshop whilst within this collection the Photoshop file is only going to arrive 
in this collection, not the other collection. So that's just a little um, trick that you've got to be aware of. So let's now have a little think about how we can work around this problem because uh, having spent hours on the uh, on the line with um, Adobe trying to solve this problem, they don't seem to recognise this as being a problem and I don't hold out a lot of hope of it being fixed anytime soon, even though that I've lodged this as a a bug or a, um, a feature request um, who knows how if and when this is going to be addressed so for the time being we're going to have to learn to live with this so let's just work through those steps now so if you're working with an image that's in a collection you need to remain in that collection when you go to edit in Photoshop and make sure that you're remaining in that collection when you save out of Photoshop and create your new version if you're working from a folder in the library, let's just go back there now, folder in library, um, it's, going to, it's going to save back to that source um, folder and it will appear there, hopefully. Now, as we've seen that the behavior is a little bit skitty, so when you've edited in Photoshop and you've gone to file save as because you want a new file name, you're still going to need to make sure that you check that that file location let's just do that again because um, this is really critical because if you if you slip up on any of these steps and and there's uh, plenty of places where you can get into trouble and you want to go, go to file save as now of course the last folder I was in was a folder called Svalbard well we all know that penguins are in the southern hemisphere, not the northern hemisphere, so obviously that's not the right folder. So now we have to go back and navigate back to the correct folder, and I know that this was in fact South Georgia, and so I can save it here. Now, if you don't follow carefully checking where it belongs, you are going to get into all sorts of trouble. So just make sure that when you are opening a raw file and wanting to file save as you need to select the right folder but if you just use file save remember you don't get to rename the file but it will correctly go to the source folder so there's a couple of different options there um, we're not going to save that again I've got about 20 different versions of this already um, and of course if you are if you are working with an existing Photoshop file that's in a collection or in a folder and you save it with a new name it doesn't matter whether you're in the source folder or in the collection when you save that with a new name Lightroom's not going to see it it ignores it so you have to go back and do this library synchronized folder process over and over and over again uh, whereas previously with the older versions if you had a Photoshop file open and you're in the source folder you saved it with a different name it would automatically pop up there but uh, this part is broken and um, we can only hope that eventually they'll fix it because for the time being you just have to be vigilant and methodical in going back and resynchronizing the folder every time now if you're working the same way that I and many others work you're going to strike this problem sooner or later and it's only in the later versions of Photoshop um, I think from tw version 22 onwards the head has been broken and um, I'm not sure whether Lightroom is a part of the culprit but of course if we go back to fo Photoshop and look at our preferences and our file handling this is the problem if this bit worked most of our problems would probably disappear although Lightroom not seeing new Photoshop files and it doesn't matter if you save as Photoshop or TIFF they're going to disappear and they're not going to appear back in the source folder so for the time being we just have to be super vigilant and hope that they eventually get around to fixing this problem I hope all this has been useful uh, next time we'll have something a little more interesting and a little more uplifting so come back soon and I look forward to seeing you again